Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. Did you know that you can convert a stack of die cuts into a notepad with just a little bit of padding compound? If you look here, you'll see that this is a butterfly notepad that I've already created and the note pad is fastened together with padding compound that's just been painted onto this section right here. Well, in order to make a notepad, all you really need is chipboard for the back, a stack of die cut shapes for the middle, and then a top one that the kids are going to decorate just to make it more fun. So if you look here, I've die cut the butterfly out of chipboard, and then I have a stack of construction paper that I've cut with the same die. I only decorated half of this so you could see how fun it is and how cool it looks once it's decorated. All I did was just take the different colors of markers in order to go back and add the detail, which your students would love doing as well, even with markers or with crayons, whatever you have that's handy. Once you have the stack that is as thick as you want and you've decorated the top, you want to hold them together with a binder clip or even a couple of binder clips. Now the position of where you place the padding compound, it kind of matters. If you try to place your compound on a curve, when people go to take it off, it tends to want to tear and tear off that section. So if you want it to, to pull away nicely and leave a full butterfly shape every time, it's best to find a section that's fairly straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the padding compound in this section here on either one of the wings. And I'll just take a binder clip and I will put, I think maybe two of them, to just hold my stack of butterflies in one spot and that exposes the spot where I'm going to place the padding compound. Padding compound is an easy thing. You can get it online, stationery stores, sometimes office supplies carry it as well. It looks just like white glue but it's more elastic and it dries clear just like glue. Anytime you get any on either the back or the front, it is an easy thing to go back and just do this. It will dry clear. You'll never know. You can go right over your design and it won't hurt it at all. I'm going to let that set up. The directions will give you an idea of the padding compound you use, how long it takes to dry. But I'll usually wait about an hour and come back and add one more coat. And then you take it off and you are good to go. Now this is the butterfly notepad. Notice on the table, it is really so easy to do. You may want to take any of the die cut shapes you have. If you have a school mascot, even a child's initial can be turned into a monogram notepad. Whether you're looking for a Mother's Day gift or maybe just a fundraising project, notepads, they're a great choice.